Hey guys, TM Pokemon here, and today I'm giving you guys some recommendations slash just telling you guys how to earn over 5 million XP during Community Day this weekend. So yes, in one day, six hours, you can earn over 5 million XP, and honestly, more than that if you really, really go hard. So let's go get right into this. Spiel Community Day, of course, is on Sunday, and if you didn't know, the bonus is three times catch XP. So, Spiel is an easy excellent, so if you put on a lucky egg, that's over 7,000 or just about 7,000 XP per catch, yeah. So, let's just give you some tips and I'll explain how you can earn this XP and tips for Community Day. So tip number one is area. You just want to find a downtown area with a lot of Pokestops so you can always be refreshing on Pokeballs and just a spot near you with a lot of spawns if you don't have a place with like an insane amount of pokey stops but obviously community day has boosted spawns so if you find a big area this would be awesome for you guys like you know just to grind and just get as many spawns as possible try to get as many catches as possible then number two tip number two is lucky eggs I mean if you really want to take advantage of this event you're gonna have to have tw 12 lucky eggs because Without a lucky egg, these excellent throws are only about 3,500 XP, maybe just under that. With the lucky egg, it's 7,000 per catch. I mean, you're literally doubling your XP. Why not? And, um, yeah, if you really want to take full advantage, you're going to need the 12 kit, uh, lucky eggs. But, hey, you can play without it, but I would recommend to use them. Number three, tip number three, is about XP. So if your goal is to earn 1 million XP, you're going to have to throw 25 excellent throws per hour, which is, you know, very feasible, but 25 excellent throws per hour is to earn a million XP on a lucky egg. Now, if you want to earn 2.5 million XP <clears throat> on a lucky egg, you'll need 60 excellent throws per hour, which again is pretty feasible if you're in a downtown area. And then if you really want to go crazy, 100 excellent throws per hour is going to get you 4.2 million XP. And if you want to go insanely crazy, 200 excellent throws per hour is going to get you 8.4 million XP. Yeah, absolutely crazy. And just so you know, the 5 million mark is 125 excellent throws per hour, which is very possible if you are in a downtown area because of these boosted community day spawns. But now we're going to talk about just how you're going to need a lot of Pokeballs to do that and you're also going to need just a good area because honestly in a bad area you're not going to be able to get 200 spawns per hour probably um, in a decent area you probably can't but then it's going to be every single one has to be an excellent and if you mess up an excellent you're going to get mad at yourself so don't put yourself under that pressure try to find a place with insane spawns now without a lucky egg 50 excellent throws per hour is going to get you 1 million XP and just over 4 million XP with 200 excellent throws per hour. So as you can see, the lucky egg is basically necessary in the situation. Now we move on to tip number four, which is your research stack. Now, not everybody's going to have a, a stacked research stack like me. I think I have like 100 Pokemon in that research stack or something like that. So this is just a plus. These are potential excellent throws you can make. Just XP if they're evolved Pokemon, extra XP, extra Stardust. And yeah, you just want to rinse that out, clear it out. And I know it's Shreel Community Day, but you can just, you know, take five minutes aside to catch, if you have like 20 Pokemon in here, 30, 40 Pokemon, you could just catch that real quick and take advantage of that. Now, tip number five is for you egg hatchers out there, 12K eggs. Now, you're going to be out and about if you're playing this potentially. So you might as well stack up on some eggs and try to get some extra Stardust. Personally, I'm not going to be doing this because I don't know if you guys know you guys uh, may not follow me on Instagram I'm positive for COVID. So unfortunately um, I'm not gonna be able to be outside. I'm gonna be in the car um, Grinding a little bit this event, but yeah, so just uh, Yeah, just can't but hey if you guys are gonna be walking a lot Make sure you guys hatch those eggs and get that extra stardust so tip number six is berries and pokeballs so Berries are essential because really you want to make catching these fields as fast as possible So if you have a lot of red berries golden berries, you'll be able to run through these if you have a lot of great balls Ultra balls you again be able to run through these because it's not that hard to catch a field unless it's like 800 CP plus 
uh, you, you really won't have trouble. I think a great ball is sufficient, and great ball um, regular raspberry is probably sufficient for all sorts of spiels. So yeah. Now we move on to the last tip, which is the fast catch mechanic. Now if you haven't learned the fast catch mechanic, you need to learn this. This is something that's going to make you catch Pokemon way quicker, have less downtime between Pokemon, and I would 100% recommend learning how to do this. I mean, the fast catch uh, method is something that I've been using the last couple months, not even the last year, and just, wow, it's changed my game. It's just made it so much easier to play and catch as many Pokemon as possible, especially on community days where there's crazy amounts of spawns, and you don't want to have, you know, like a 15 second screen every time where you're looking at the candies. And um, so I would 100% recommend learning how to do this before community day and just trying to take advantage of it on community day. Basically, you have to try to, uh, I mean, you can find them on YouTube. I'm going to make one soon, but uh, not at the moment. And then, yeah, that's basically going to wrap up the video. You can earn 5 million Stardust this weekend, uh, Stardust, XP this weekend alone. I mean, come on. This is going to be a great weekend if you can really, really take advantage. And if you want extra XP, if you're on like a 7-day catch streak or anything, just wait until um, your community day starts and then boom, you're going to have like... Oof, I, th I think sometimes it's like 5,000 XP for the first catch of the day, like depending on the day you're on. Like you could get an extra 15,000 XP right there on a lucky egg. Uh, not 15, sorry, 10,000 XP, but you know what I mean. You could double it. And yeah, that's basically going to wrap up the video. Make sure you guys leave a comment and subscribe. And yeah, uh, I just want to thank you guys so much for checking out this video. And uh, yeah, just comment down below your XP goals. Um, I wanna, I'm wondering what you guys are going to try to get this weekend. My goal, personally, is probably to catch about 100 an hour. Um, so get uh, well, 125 output. I'll try, I'm going to try to get 5 million XP this weekend. So that's why I'm giving you guys these tips, giving you what I'm going to try to do myself. And hopefully my research stack can help me out with that too. But yeah, just make sure you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.